What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today we're going to talk about the Destiny 2 subclass changes going off the words of Luke Smith. Okay, so this info comes from Game Rant which I will link in the video description if you guys want to check out the full article. Okay, so getting straight into it, Luke Smith, director of Destiny 2, says the sequel is an opportunity to retool the subclasses, making them more active on the battlefield and letting their abilities synergize with other subclasses. Talking specifically about how the new Dawnblade will replace the Sunsinger subclass, Smith says the self resurrection of the Sunsinger caused problems. He thinks the fantasy of having a super in Destiny is the fantasy of using it. And the Sunsinger encourages you to not use your super, it encourages you to sit on it and use it like a one-up when it was time. That also makes things like counterbalance more of a headache when we want it to be. Game Rant go on to say, Southwest caused multiple issues in Destiny 1 on both PvE and PvP sides of the game. Just a few examples include how players could cheese the breach encounter of the Crota's end raid by exploiting the Sunsinger's self res And Sunsingers introduce a different dynamic when it comes to a competitive game mode like Trials of Osiris, which has caused frustration for players. Now I kind of agree with some of the things being said there, and although the self res did cause many issues for Bungie in terms of cheesing raids etc, but when it comes to PvP I don't feel like it was that OP, or even abused and caused many issues for players. I can think of maybe three or four other subclasses which in my opinion were way more of a problem. Yes I'm glad it isn't coming back as I would like to see entire new subclasses due to Destiny 2 being a new game and not a 1.5 version. But the actual self res in my opinion was easily controllable in PvP and in my opinion was not OP at all. And this is coming from someone who would choose a warlock last. They go on to say in the same way the Blade Dancer stealth abilities have created balancing issues in the past which Smith hopes to avoid with the new Arc Strider subclass. While the fast offensive super is similar to the Blade Dancers, Bungie is hoping that the removal removal of stealth abilities will make the arc strider more fun and fair to fight against. You see here I kind of have an issue, not really with the fact that stealth is being removed, but to the point that it seems to me that they are trying to make the subclasses be as similar as possible while keeping minor differences. The difference from Destiny 1 is, you have three different subclasses per character class, each in their own right was used on a well rounded basis. The point of there being different classes and subclasses is to experiment and use them when they are needed. It seems as though the case now will be one subclass for all activities and that will be fine. This is as far away from Destiny 1 as can B subclass wise. They then go on to talk about the Titan Sentinel. This is what they said. The Sentinel was changed from the Defender in hopes that, like the Night Stalker Hunter, the Titans will have an aggressive support character, as Smith calls it. One that doesn't just drop a Ward of Dawn and sit in the back, but moves through the battle, bashing enemies with the Super Shield in close combat or by throwing it. However, the Sentinel can still put up a moving wall of defence. All in all, it goes toward the obvious goal that players stay in front of the action instead of playing from too far back. In addition to these changes, Destiny 2 adds class abilities that Bungie hopes will be able to play off one another, like the Warlock's Rift and the Titan's Barricade creating a pseudo Wall of Dawn. There's true fun to be had with your powers being part of a symphony that you and your fire team are conducting together, says Smith. I think that's the opportunity on the table for Destiny. So the changes to the Wall of Dawn are as they state, to stop people sitting back inside a bubble. The thing is you still have that option confirmed in an earlier interview by Luke Smith. You can still set up that super so you can drop a Ward of Dawn. The point is yeah for sure they want a Ward of Dawn to be more of an aggressive support uh, subclass. Which is fine and I wonder if that's what they meant when they said you can drop a Ward of Dawn. Did he actually mean the moving Ward of Defence which we actually already have seen in action from a trailer way 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 back. Which you guys will see on screen now. Now it's obvious to me the direction Bungie are taking Destiny 2 when it comes to the subclasses. I kind of don't agree with some of the changes they are doing and I do feel there should be subclasses dedicated to support only. Them eliminating that altogether, what does that tell you guys about the direction they want this game to travel in? In my opinion it goes more so towards, like many people are saying, a PvP driven game which in my opinion is a bad bad thing. Although I am bound to support the decisions Bungie make with their new game, you can't help but question some of their choices. And that for me guys is the end of the video. Let me know what you think about the reasons behind the changes they have made to subclasses. Thanks as always for stopping by, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on. We never
love would get around. 